Hello. I'm Eagle Spitz. It's fucking Wordsworth time, and I'm near enough to watershed. Shit, I don't know what happened there. Hello, I'm Eagle Spitz, and it's near enough to pass the water towards the watershed, not to give a fuck, so you might get a bit of swearing. If that offends and piss off, I suppose. Uh, Atos Death Squad went on the attack, killing the disabled, no holding back. One legged squad is a mentally ill, the blind and the lame, they contract the fill. We must save money, let's rob the poor, the anti robber nor their cries they ignored. Her rulers of five homes are poor, they have none. War on the disabled, the war has begun. Well, we're all minorities, gang up and fight back. Don't lie down, get out your sack. Yes, they are strong, but good it'll win. I'm not a Democrat, but they weren't voted in. So despite my disabilities, a fact they can't see. And if I there are no jobs, there is one for me. I'll be the driver of a large HDV and a pedal to metal, I'll whistle and sing. Ram it through Parliament and flatten the thing. I'll ignore their shouts, their cries and their pleas. I'll be the antidote to this country's disease. Because it's not the disabled that got us in hock. It's the greedy bastards, the ones at the top. <laughs> Solidarity with Upright Rebels Collective. Let's get some rice and some other food and some masks out there. And I know we're all going through a lot of pain, so I thought I'd do a song about pain. And this is my me trying to work that round my fucking head. Like a leper with a candle, I want to feel the pain. I want to have the impulses sent into my brain. I want... <laughs> Fuck, start again, Eagle. Like a leper with a candle, I want to feel the pain. I want to have the impulses sent into my brain. I want life in all its fullness. I don't want to run and hide. I don't want your analgesia. I want to feel alive. I don't want your sanitation, your soam or your calm. I don't want your nanny government protecting me from harm. I want life on the ne life's edge. I want to live by grace. I want to be obnoxious and shout right in your face. I want the alarm call that tells me things aren't right. I want openness and honesty and turn on the light. I want to attack the lion tamer, and get injured in the fight. I don't want your religion or politics left or right. I don't want your law and order to so keep me in your sights. I want Jesus Christ, the anarchist, to set this place alight. <laughs> that's a wife clapping and cheering. That's nice, isn't it? Um been thinking quite a bit recently about the state of shit we're in. So, um, I've been, yeah, um, we've got Boris. Before Boris, we had Teresa. Before Teresa, we had that other tour out, Cameron. And before that, countless other fucking arseholes. So, I'm not going to let any of them get away with it tonight. This one's called Hey Mr. Cameron. Hey Mr. Cameron, God's camera is on you, recording all the evil and the vile things that you do. It's swarming vulnerable people. You lie, let die in the dirt while f filling your friend's pocket, not caring who you hurt. State-sanctioned homicide of a poor which are denied. Human rights and basic food but you cannot hide. Lazarus and the rich man who ignored his cries, cries together in the afterlife, but on opposite sides. Hey, Mr. Cameron, God's camera is on you, recording all the evil and the vile things that you do, just like Dorian Gray in a story by Oscar Wilde, dead on the inside, just a demonic deranged smile, a whitewashed tomb of maggots, stinking of decay. Life is relationship. Gold just fades away. Hey, Mr. Cameron, God's camera is on you, recording all the evil and the vile things that you do. You are a war criminal like every PM before. Death is a great equaliser. He'll come knocking on your door. Like Faustus, you'll go screaming. The people won't hear a sound. Johnny Cash has warned you. A man will come around. Hey, Mr. Cameron, God's camera's on you, recording all the evil and the vile things that you do. Woo! 
Bro, so the next one's got to be about Theresa May. So we'll do love poem to Theresa May, shall we? Gurning ghost-faced cunt, please come and stand in front of my high-speed train or put a bullet through your brain. Please die for your nation. It will cure our frustration of even having to listen to your crap. It will certainly shut your fucking trap. A thing which crawled from the devil's arse. A stone art, a troll of no class. Please be my archery target, lady of tin and full of shit. You look better as a corpse. Go get trampled by a horse. Let us hear your bones crack a broken neck and a broken back. Your pain will be my pleasure. Please die slowly at your leisure. Not a thought for the poor. You are the crooked claw with talons of hate and a crooked gait. You lie like a beast on an air flesh you do feast. The disabled you despise, you death in your eyes, and blood on your hands from countless foreign lands. And this country too, 110,000 you slew. Truth to my I fucking hate you. You're a dictator far straight from the arse of your father of hell, and your soul you just sell. And I'm not sorry I'm blunt, you gurning ghost-faced cunt. Right, a bit of a happier one for you now, then. Now we've got those bastards out of the way, this one's for Boris. Then my girl and his wife's going to join. Mm. Oh, it's about that time, really, isn't it? It's it's time... It, it's time for a bit of Boris. So we have to be quiet. Oh, wrong way. Keep going the wrong way, Eagle. So if we'd all like to quieten down a little bit. If you go down to Westminster, you shall have a big surprise. Cause sitting at number 10 is a creature we all despise. And he got in through the back door by telling countless lies. Boris is a twat. Boris is a twat. Regardless of your IQ now, he's a fucking twat. And that is a good thing, and we're told that greed is good. By the Prime Minister, aka a slug. Boris is a twat. Boris is a twat. Regardless of your IQ now, he's a fucking twat. Uh, he stole Ken's tricycles, made the food recall. He isn't cute and cuddly, he's a Nazi's tool. Boris is a twat. Boris is a twat. Regardless of your IQ now, he's a fucking twat. Keep the homeless out of Westminster, feeding them's no good. In fact, it is criminal. Bring back Robin Hood. Boris is a twat. Boris is a twat. Regardless of your IQ now, he's a fucking twat. No tax upon your mansion. Just upon your flat and free the skull of the poor the Tories Parax. Boris is a twat. Boris is a twat. Regardless of your IQ now, he's a fucking twat. Johnson is your surname. It is slang for dick. Boris fucking Johnson, you make me fucking sick. Boris is a twat. Boris is a twat. Regardless of your IQ now, he's a fucking twat. He got very popular, and I got news for you. I'd love to get a dagger and run the fucker through. Boris is a twat. Boris is a twat. Regardless of your IQ now, he's a fucking twat. He's a fucking. Oh, it's gather now. Glimmer. Well, Glimmer's on next, is it? Mm. Oh. <laughs> this one's this one's about hope. That's good, isn't it? There's a glimmer in the margins and the edges, there is hope. When Babylon the Great has gone up in smoke, when a state has been broken and the bombs have been dropped. 
when the head of state has finally been chopped, the ones forced on the outside have learnt to love and care, when it's the spirit of community, not the spirit of fear. We'll see love in our brothers, the face of God in our sisters, a soothing cream from her burns and balm for her blisters, the same spirit within us and be of one mind, no longer violent but gentle and kind, no more vultures pecking and tearing our flesh, but children and kittens and food which is fresh. There'll be embraces and kisses, there'll be strawberries and cream. At the end of their nightmare, we'll realise our dream. Solidarity, especially with Hope Orphanage. Yeah. On that subject. So. But also on um, Upright. Rebels Collective. Up, uptight Rebels Collective. Uh, they're feeding <laughs> the poor. Stop, you know, feeding. If you haven't got a mask in every city... You get arrested. Instead of the uh, state giving out masks, they're arresting people and putting them into fucking like detention centres. Whole. So, um, uptight rebel collectives out there getting out masks and getting give, out food, getting food as well. well. So any money that you've got is very welcome. If it's only a pound, it's it means a lot to street people who've got nothing. Right, this one's called One Million Houses. One million houses stand empty, yet still we're full. 1.3 million pound bonuses that those that misrule look after our own and Britain and others belong in a sea of a hearse. Well, the poor are my family, my siblings, my kin. Open the borders and let them come in. Yes, the poor, them have family. My siblings, my kin. Open the borders and let them come in. We have no let money to waste on the poor. We need to buy weapons to bomb them some more. They might be jihadists of beards and brown skin, those skinny infants with the disguise is so thin. But the poor them my family, my siblings, my kin, open the borders and let them come in. Yes, the poor them my family, my siblings, my kin, Open the borders and let them come in, let them in. Amazon need their tax breaks, Starbucks do too. So stop overseas aid, that's what we must do. We'll go on bombing, it's a great British way. We created the war zones and in them they'll stay. But the poor them have family. My siblings, my kin, open the borders and let them come in. Yes, the poor, they my family, my siblings, my kin, open the borders and let them come in. Let them, let them in, let them in, let them in. Right. The next one's called Product Placement in Reverse. We need some, need some lyrics for that, girl, don't we? I think we do, my dear. Girl. Girls are loud. Basically, um, Eagle puts look, as many words into a song as humanly possible. So he just basically crumbs it and goes, there you go, have every word. And okay. then says, I don't know what's next. Are you finished? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one's about Unilever, obviously. It's called Product Placement in Reverse. It's actually an activist song, but it started its life as a poem. My mate Ma might dump this toxic cycle of death and destruction in his wake. Clear up your mess for fuck's sake. Hellman's might taste creamy and nice, but not at the cost of innocent lives. Spider, Timotea Lynx, you nearly the you fucking stink. Spider, Timotea Lynx, you nearly the you fucking stink. 
Purcell washes bright and clean, but its heart is filthy and obscene. I can't believe it's not butter. Uh, and children like a deranged nutter. Magnum, Ben and Jerry's eight real walls. A screams which twist employers' balls. The smell of brute, the smell of death. Coleman's takes away your breath. The masters and the Vaseline, like some sadistic libertine. Spider, Timotea Lynx, Unilever, you fucking stink. Spider, Timotea Lynx, Unilever, you fucking stink. Radox proactive radiation, killing the poor of other nations. Sure. And the VO5, murderous fuckers taking lives, killing children, husbands, wives, stalk not delivering but killing babies, more dangerous by far than rapes, despite the triple tailings, you nearly be you fucking stink. Despite the triple tailings, you nearly be you fucking stink. In Cornetta, there's no comfort bought. Denying the justice hack, Cody can outsort. Unilever's toxic mercury leak. Unilever, you fucking reek of death, suffering, and decay. Poisoning children whilst at play. The compensation which you denied turned your backs as your workforce died. Despite the Timothy links. You nearly be you fucking stink. The spider, Timothy Lynx. You nearly be you fucking stink. My impulse to call you murdering scum is one I cannot overcome. When you look on a BNP, you look so clued. You're worse than the Nazis that you sued. The spider, Timothy Lynx. You nearly be you fucking stink. Despite Dove, Timothy Lynx, you nearly be you fucking stink. That says that, really. Oh, what's so your set list? If you went back through the song, you could identify lots and lots of products that really we shouldn't be supporting this um, horrible company. Oh. So, Black Rain. Yeah, I've um, been listening to lots of Fugs and Fug members stuff recently. Um, and some words which um, <laughs> yeah, you'll pick it up. Um, this one's about heavy duty, I suppose. Catherine will birds burn in flight, black rain falls in Pacific skies, children melt in nuclear heat, forgotten faces and melting feet. Ed Sanders sang, forget not the fight. Like the phoenix, we rise, we rise in flight. Like the phoenix, we rise, we rise to fight. There's only one race, the human race. Yet hatred's poured out from a demonic face. The face of power, the face of death. The man squeezes out the final breath. Ed Sanders sang, forget not the fight. Like the phoenix, we rise, we rise in flight. The, like the phoenix, we rise, we rise to fight. People starve, we must not relent. We must stand together, they must repent. The horrors and torments, the wars and hate crimes, for state-sanctioned genocide and feeding us lies. Ed Sanders sang, forget not the fight. Like the phoenix, we rise, we rise in flight. Like the phoenix, we rise, we rise to fight. Eagle was going to see the roots, weren't you, my love? Yeah, and I think this is probably going to be my last poem, so it might not be. Oh. Yeah, uh, this is a true story of a young thug I used to know. <laughs> called... <laughs> Well, it's called Eagle Spitz now. It wasn't in those days. So it's a true story. And when I met my wife, I told her what had happened. And she suggested I put it to verse, which I did a two or three years ago. 
So this one's called On a Way to See the Rocks. Well, I'd had a few pints at lunchtime when I was only 16. I was off to see the ruts, and I was feeling keen. I was catching the train to Cambridge. The booze had hit my brain. I dropped my bloody ticket right under a bloody train. A guard was feeling kindly. He climbed on the track. I was most undeserving, but I got my ticket back. I boarded my train in Peterborough, but I didn't get very far. I was feeling pissed and hungry, so I went to a buffet car. I ordered a hamburger, but hamburgers I did not sell. If they were lying, I swear I could not tell. So I was feeling lost. I needed some hot food. Never mind the cost. I was hungry, pissed and rude. My next move might sound illogical or some kind of bizarre joke. I went and got a fire extinguisher and the buffet staff got a soak. The security they were summoned, the guards came after me. I could run fast in those days. I locked the lavatory. As the guards tried to get in, I opened the window and got out. On the top and running like a drunken cowboy lout. From carriage to carriage I was jumping. I didn't have a care. I was on a train. I had paid my fare. The wind, it was blowing. The carriages were dry. It felt just like running right through the open sky. When someone pulled the cable, I tried running away. But I was drunk and unable. It was not my day. The police arrived pretty quickly. Well, at least it seemed to me. I was handcuffed and arrested and soon in custody. I was charged with abusive language to disturb a peace. Not very fitting, really, but I understand the police had to charge me with something, and this is what they chose as I sat in their cells in my scruffy punk rock clothes. After a few hours, my parents came to collect their teenage hooligan, desiring to wring my neck. I explained on the way home, but it was not my fault. I'd lost my glasses out a window, and the trainer would not halt. A few, mon mon a few months later, when I was up in court, the truth it came out and father was looking fraught. Fraught was an understatement. Steam came from his head. At least it wasn't mother, else at 16 I'd be dead. Her wrath was worse than the legal systems. I would have been hung for my crimes. Young punk rocker watches too many westerns. The headlines in the Cambridgeshire <laughs> Times. Thank you and good night. <laughs>